Hey guys, welcome to another lunch review. Today I'm going to try this Palermo's Pizza Bagels. There are two half bagels in the box, which is cool. This one is the three cheese uh, variety, inspired by Papa Old World Recipes. Papa's Old World Recipes. Hmm. Um, it's 7.26 ounces or 206 grams. We bought these at Walmart. It was $3.94. Not too awfully bad. Um, I can say that the writing on this package with the directions is horrible. So I'll show you that in just a second. Um, so one piece is 210 calories. You eat both of them. It's 430 calories. And there's the info for you. So they put the directions white on yellow. Worst decision ever. But you can do this in the oven if you want to. Of course, we're not going to do it, but you can if you want. Here's the microwave directions. You have to really look at it. Um, remove the tray from the box and remove the wrapper. Place the tray on the empty box and place in the microwave. Um, you're going to cook two bagels for three minutes and 15 seconds um, on high. And then, let's see, product will be hot. Let it sit for one to two minutes before serving. Oh, let, let leave allow the product to stand. I'm telling you, I can't hardly read that. Anyway, yeah, marketing people. White on yellow, bad idea. No, no, don't do that. People can't read white on yellow. Okay, right, so uh, keep my box, because you put this on top of it. And here's the pizza, the bagels. Oh, looks like they're pretty well covered with cheese, honestly. So I'm gonna remove it from the plastic wrap. I'll put it on top of this box just like that, like a little stand, and get it in the microwave, and I'll be back. Just to clarify, I can't remember if I said two or three. It says cook two bells for three minutes and 15 seconds. Just want to make sure, because I think I might have said two, but anyway, I just want to make sure I did, did say three, 15. Hey, so here they are out of the microwave. I did let them sit for a minute. Um, the cheese was good and bubbly on the top. Um, I do worry about getting them out of this little tray. The tray was very hot, by the way, when it first came out of the microwave, so let's let you know. So you won't burn your fingers, just be careful. Let's see. Let's try and get this knife underneath. Sometimes you have to like pry them loose because they're stuck. And this is no different. Okay, there's one. The fight is real. It's just stuck on the bottom. You can see the old brown areas where the where they get stuck. And this is pretty typical for these little silver trays. They um, they almost always get stuck. That's why I have a paper plate. Yeah, the brown areas they always get stuck in those little areas right there. So there they are. I wanted to cut one in two just to see how tough it felt. Let me get this one. Not too bad. They're kind of kind of tough on the bottom, but not hard as a brick. So there we go. So I'm gonna let this cool off for a minute. I'm not gonna cut it up anymore. I'll eat it just like it is. So anyway, I'll be right back. All right, so I think I gave it enough time to cool off. So I'm gonna try one of the bites that I cut um, in half. Looks pretty decent on the bottom. It's brown on the bottom. And like all microwave pizza type things, I'm sure they're much better in the oven. They usually are, uh, but they gave the microwave directions. We don't do ovens on this channel. I'm gonna do it in the, uh, I'm gonna do it in the microwave. We'll see how they work. Uh, it feels pretty soft and chewy. It's, it's a little tough on the edge, on this side especially. So let me try the other side first, just to give it a fair shake. about what I expected. The, it is a bagel, but it's a it's a full size bagel. So normally bagels, the bagel pizzas come in the bagel bites, the little bitty round ones, and they're much thinner and they're not quite this, they're a little bit more tough um, than this one. This one's more um, chewy, like a bagel would be um, if you were to microwave it, but it does have a little toughness to it as well. So it's, it's chewy, but it's kind of, it's kind of tough. It's not hard, it's just tough. I'm trying to work my way over to the, what feels like it's harder um, on this other side. So far the texture's okay. It's, it's a little, the cheese on top is a little goopy. It's not really that good stretchy cheese, but it's kind of that kind of 
goopy, melty, kind of turns into watery kind of cheese. It edges really hard. So make sure you don't break your teeth trying to chew that stuff. Yeah, the edge got really hard on that one side. This one doesn't, yeah, that one edge feels a little hard. It is a little tough to chew. Um, it's a very chewy bagel. And I mean, I know bagels are chewy already, but this is tougher than a traditional bagel. Um, it's not horrible texture-wise, but it is pretty dense. Uh, this one feels about the same. I do like the amount of food you get. I mean, you're getting a full-size bagel, like I said, and it's just a plain bagel. It's nothing fancy, but um, it, um, it is a regular bagel, a regular size bagel, a regular thickness bagel, a regular uh, size around. You probably make one of these yourself at home with some cheese and, and spaghetti sauce. I mean, uh, pizza sauce and probably be cheaper, but um, it's okay. The texture for me is a little tough. I could even live with the texture, but the flavor is just really not very exciting. It's very, um, very cheap pizza tasting. And I hate to say that because I know Palermo is a really good brand, but, um, it just tastes like a cheap pizza sauce. There's, the sauce really doesn't have much flavor at all. You get a little bit of a tomato flavor and that's it. And then uh, the cheese is like, I, you don't hardly taste the cheese at all. You get mostly um, the bagel bread itself is what you taste and a little bit of the tomato. And the cheese is like, it's like whatever. I mean, it really could almost not be there. Um, and you wouldn't notice the difference necessarily. Um, yeah, I'm really disappointed in how much flavor it has. It needed, I do have another one of these at some point in time, I'll get to it, but um, it has pepperoni on it, I think. I think, I don't, can't swear to it. Um, this one, just being a cheese, is very, very, very plain. I would give this a three out of five, um, not only for texture, because it is a little tougher, but just the flavor alone is not enough to win me over. Um, there are better, like the, the rectangular pizzas that you put on the little tray, you flip the box upside down and put on there. Um, there are some of those that are better flavor-wise uh, than this one. So, it is what it is. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.